hoping for another one here this evening as they take on Atalanta in the Europa League quarterfinals. Jurgen Klopp's side are one of three English teams in action tonight, still dreaming of European glory after they all turned on the style to reach the line. And pitch side with me here tonight at Anfield, Peter Crouch and Rachel Brown Finnis, who very handily just grabbed the brollies because just as we went live, the rain has started chucking it down. Yeah, I was a the perfect gentleman there. <laughs> You wrestled it up, <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's another quarterfinal tonight in Europe. And Croucher, we've seen some away amazing ones so far this week, haven't we? Unbelievable. Honestly, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Part of the season for Liverpool, Rachel. Every game so important. They're in such a tight title race and now a European quarterfinal as well. But this is so exciting for their for Old Trafford at the weekend for Liverpool, though, Croucher. Did it show that Liverpool can be vulnerable? Um, I... I always look at those. Quickly, Liverpool don't get much from Old Trafford, and, and that just continues, you know, regardless of where United are at at, the po at this moment in time. Very good in the Europa League, though, Crouchy. They're still favourites to win it, and rightly so. Yeah, rightly so. I mean, you saw the. They thrashed Sparta Prague 6 1 in the last round, 11 2 1 aggregate. That just got. Coming to make such a, such a difference. Yeah, well, we hope to see more goals at Anfield tonight. The other game in the Europa League this evening that I think a few people have got their eyes on is West Ham's tie in Germany against Xavi Alonso's Bayer Leverkusen. Mm. They're probably going to win the Bundesliga this weekend. An incredible achievement for them. But how on earth does David Moyes prepare his team? against the side. His time here, obviously, a man I played with doing fantastic uh, things at, at Leaving that. Yeah, I think so. Let's take a look at the road to the final, the road to be the first to beat Leverkusen because he's had a hard time this season and continues to do so at West Ham so mm. a little bit more European glory for Moisey. I think obviously if Liverpool go it goes gets to the final there I think there's a story in every single game if you're AC Milan. It'll be <laughs> exciting isn't it? Let's take a closer look at the teams tonight at Anfield. Becky Ives and Steve McManaman are just a bit further down. Well we're putting you hard at work this week aren't we Rachel? <laughs> Pundit, reporter and you know what Klopp enjoyed the chat so much with you that he even got a question of his own in didn't he? Did. Oh my god, I love that so much. Well, we brilliant. bonded over that. I think we're going to go for a pint of Erdinger or something after that. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, you were actually here last week as well for the Sheffield United game, and he was saying to you that he's he's very calm amongst all of the noise around the club at the moment, obviously in such a huge title race this season and the quarterfinals in Europe. Did you sense that as well from the chat you had with him? That he, he is a very relaxed man. And he's perfect for. for how he's, he's kind of drip feeding it across the team. And Harvey Elliott was exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, Klopp had so much praise, didn't he, there, Crouchy, for Harvey Elliott. A player that in a season where there has been a lot of injuries, he's one of those that stepped up this campaign. Has he been one of Klopp's most reliable players? What appearances than Harvey Elliott's 44 this season, Rachel. It just goes to show the faith Klopp has. The faith, the determination. OK, well, what is in store for us tonight at Am Wonder Strikes. I, I, I think too much has been... You know, talked about this Manchester United result. This, it was a, I felt like it was a free... Trent Alexander-Arnold also back on the bench for Liverpool tonight too. Well, we have a witness, some amazing... I'm just impressed with how many video game references James got in there. Nothing wrong with Call of Duty. <laughs> you can do both. I wasn't expecting Pac-Man to get a reference tonight either. Um, look, as well as delivering players to the Premier League, like they just mentioned, with Rasmus Hoyland going to Manchester United, it's worked the other way as well. This club have also reignited players' careers when they haven't worked out elsewhere. One of those is Skamaka. Uh, to do with that, is it just that you're becoming more introverted? You're taking yourself away from the squad? Like, is it a dynamic thing? Liverpool can be. They're the top scorers in the Europa League this season. And although Arsenal are the only team in the Premier League to have scored more goals than them this season, Rachel, they have been wasteful at times. Did we see that against Manchester United? We've seen that in most games this season. Meanwhile, in the Europa Conference League, it's a huge night in the West Midlands as Aston Villa take on Lille in the first leg of their quarter-final. And Villa Park is going to be rocking as they look to take a step closer to a first major trophy since 1990.